July 2017 19-year-old Jeremy Holmes attempted to charge at Colorado State University police officer Phil Morris with a knife he was armed with after Morris attempted to holster his gun to get a stun gun after repeatedly telling Holmes to drop the knife, which the boy refused to do 39. Forced to act fast due to how close Holmes got, Morris and another officer shot Holmes dead. More than two years later in January 2020, Holmes' mother, anti-police activist Susan Holmes, vindictively tried to get Morris in trouble by lying about him in an extreme risk protection order she filed against him in an attempt to abuse Colorado's red flag law and strip Morris of his right to carry a gun on the job, falsely claiming that she and Morris were related and had a child together and that he had a history of violence, but the Larimer County Sheriff's Office, recognizing her petition as a fraud as well as an abuse of the legal system for petty revenge, refused to deliver the petition and a Larimer County judge denied the protection order and dismissed the case. Susan Holmes, who has denied lying on the petition, now possibly faces perjury charges against her for filing the false petition. Colorado State Representative Patrick Neville, commenting on the Holmes incident, criticized the red flag law on Twitter, noting, via a retweet of another Twitter post, its anti-Second Amendment nature and its potential for abuse by troublemakers with an axe to grind against law enforcement and law-abiding civilian gun owners. Antifa rioters beat and bloody Trump supporters in Philadelphia 40 A number of the Antifa punks were subsequently arrested for their actions in the riot. Thousands of left-wing, anti-capitalist, and anti-Trump extremists 41 protested at the G20 conference in Hamburg, Causing riots and clashing with police 42 43 44 they set up street barricades, looted supermarkets, attacked police with weapons such as petrol bombs, and they burned cars, among other acts of violence and vandalism 45 46 US. First Lady Melania Trump was unable to leave her residence in the city due to violent protests 47 48 by the second day of the summit. 160 police officers were injured and reinforcements had to be called in 49 through the third night of violence, 476 police officers had been injured 50 a major German newspaper, Die Welt, referred to the riots as, the new fascist violence of the left. 51 a total of 476 police officers were injured during the riots 52 the German special police forces Saxony chief, Sven Mews, stated he had never seen such violence in his over 30 years of experience 53. The German Special Police, SOKO, said that the left-wing protesters committed over 2,000 crimes. 54 In August 2017, German authorities banned a notable website maintained by the Antifa that played a role in the violence 55-56. GOP Senator Dean Heller received a death threat by someone telling him to oppose the GOP's Obamacare repeal effort 57. Pro-Trump singer Joy Villa received death threats and hate mail for her support of the president 58. In a speech, left-wing Congressman Luis Gutierrez called President Trump a major criminal who must be eliminated. 5960. Kevin Allred, a women's and gender studies professor at Montclair State University in New Jersey, stated on Twitter that Trump is a effing joke. This is all a sham. I wish someone would just shoot him outright. 61. Allred deleted the original tweet when he was criticized for it by other posters, but dismissively claimed in another tweet that there was a difference between saying he wished Trump dead and a direct threat against him, which only drew more criticism against him from posters who pointed out that Allred's original tweet was indeed a death threat, leading Allred to attack the messenger by accusing one critic of having, no critical reading skills. Allred, who was once held for a psych evaluation for posting a tweet threatening to buy a gun and, shoot, at random white people, while working at Rutgers University, was subsequently fired from Montclair State, which has since publicly denied ever having employed him, for his original tweet, but continued to attack his critics and refused to take responsibility for his actions. August 2017 the son of Venezuela's dictatorial socialist President Nicolas Maduro stated that he would take the White House with guns if President Trump intervened in the country 62-63. A white supremacist demonstration in Charlottesville, Virginia, became violent after Antifa counter-protesters showed up. While the media and politicians rightly condemned the white supremacists, they ignored the fact that the leftist counter-protesters shared much of the responsibility for the violence 64 it was reported that the person who organized the white supremacist protests was an Occupy Wall Street activist and a Barack Obama supporter 65. 
Rick Wilson, a Reno establishment consultant and a Daily Beast columnist who earlier called Donald Trump a proto-fascist, called for the lynching of fascists. 66. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Ben Carson's house was vandalized with anti-Trump rhetoric 67 68 69. Leftist activists vandalized and pulled down a Confederate statue in Durham, North Carolina 70 71. Leftist activists vandalized and tried to pull down a peace monument in Atlanta, Georgia, mistakenly thinking it was a Confederate monument 72. Vandals destroyed a 90-year-old bust of Abraham Lincoln in Chicago. The words F-Law were written on it, and when a Chicago alderman posted about the incident, his Facebook page was littered with posts attacking Lincoln and his legacy 73. A Democrat state senator from Missouri expressed her hope that President Trump would be assassinated 74. She refused to resign after making the comment 75 in September 2017. The Missouri Senate publicly censured her 76 77. assassinated 74 she refused to resign after making the comment 75 in September 2017 the Missouri Senate publicly censured her 76 77 on August 19 2017 Boston police arrested 27 people counter protesting a free speech rally 78 the activists forced the rally which promoted free speech to shut down 79 as an example of the level of tolerance shown by the left-wing counter-protesters, a Trump supporter wearing an Israeli flag was heckled, harassed, and had profanities hurled at him, such as, get the F out of our effing town. 8081. Leftist vandals smashed a 225-year-old monument to Christopher Columbus 82. Left-wing vandals vandalized monuments honoring Revolutionary War heroes 83-84. A 20-year-old man was arrested and charged with battery and terroristic threats after punching a black Trump supporter, as seen in video footage, and then boasting about his violent act on Twitter 85. During a riot at a left-wing protest in Quebec, Antifa activists attacked a camera crew from the Canadian broadcaster Global News, and after the incident, Antifa took credit for it and threatened more such attacks 86. A statue of Robert E. Lee at Duke University in Durham, NC was vandalized 87. A statue of J. Marion Sims, a controversial doctor and the father of modern gynecology, was vandalized with the word racist painted on his face 88. Associated Press reports Berkeley, California police were ordered to stand down to allow Antifa rioters to attack peaceful anti-Marxist demonstrators 89. A liberal journalist admitted that he had seen Antifa members brutally beating a man and that he had put his body on the man so they would stop. Despite this, he did not change his positive opinion of the Antifa 90. September 2017 A violent crowd of left-wing protesters forced police to shut down a pro-Trump rally 91. Seven people were arrested after Antifa members threw smoke and projectiles at the police 92. Anthony Bourdain, a chef on CNN and formerly the Food Network, said that he would poison President Trump's food if he could 93 Bourdain subsequently committed suicide on June 8, 2018 94. After the acquittal of a white police officer in the death of a drug suspect who happened to be black in St. Louis, there were protests which became violent 95 96 several police officers were injured and the mayor's house was damaged 97 98 some schools shut down early in case of a riot 99 the band U2 cancelled a concert in St. Louis over their concerns over their ability to keep all their fans safe amid the unrest 100 and singer Ed Sheeran cancelled his performance for the same reason. 101. Marxist professor Lars Mayschuk of California State University, Fresno, doubled down on a February 2017 tweet he made that stated that President Trump must hang. 102. October 2017. After the Las Vegas shooting, a leftist teacher reacted to the shooting by wishing that only Trump supporters died during the shooting 103. When Donald Trump was tweeting about his trip to the victims of the Las Vegas shooting, anti-Trump critic Ed Krasenstein attacked him on Twitter and stated that he should come up with new gun laws to prevent shootings. He stated that imprisonment and impeachment would be better for Trump than calling his visit to a mass shooting scene wonderful 104. Left-wing protesters disrupted a college Republican event at the University of California, Santa Cruz, stating that, dialogue is violence. 105. 
It was reported that left-wing protesters had created several paramilitary organizations 106. Rapper Snoop Dogg released a song entitled, Make America Crip Again, with a scene of President Trump getting shot 107. Maxine Waters was accused of threatening to take Trump out. A guest on Fox News stated that she threatened to assassinate him, however, Waters denied saying it and stated she wanted him impeached 108-109. November 2017 Rapper Snoop Dogg posted an image of a dead Donald Trump with the words, Make America Crip Again. 110 U.S. Senator from Kentucky Rand Paul was assaulted outside his home in Bowling Green by a neighbor 111-112-113 Paul received six broken ribs and fluid buildup around his lungs from the attack 114 His assailant, Rene Boucher, who is politically registered as a Democrat and embraces leftist views, admitted to the attack and now faces possible felony charges due to the attack and its severity 115 The liberal media originally claimed that the assault was the result of a dispute over landscaping, but several of Paul's neighbors discredited the claim and exposed it as fake news when they confirmed Butcher's leftist and vehement anti-Trump views, which he posted on his Facebook account, which has since been blocked from public view by Facebook. 116 Boucher was subsequently sentenced to 30 days in prison 117 and had a lawsuit filed against him by Paul for the assault 118. Devin Patrick Kelly, the shooter at First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas, who killed at least 26 churchgoers before committing suicide by self-inflicted gunshot after being shot and chased by a local resident was reportedly a mentally unstable atheist 119 120 121. British singer Morrissey stated that he would kill President Trump, for the safety of humanity, if he were able to 122-123. U.S. Representative John Kitko reportedly received a death threat because he did not support net neutrality. The man who issued the threat, Patrick D'Angelo, was arrested and charged with threatening a federal official, which carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in federal prison and a $250,000 fine if he is convicted of the charge 124. December 2017 In Massachusetts a Trump supporter's truck and home vandalized for the second time. In Massachusetts Antifa attacks Trump supporter outside of a Harvard bookstore. Eminem song framed plots assassination of Ivanka Trump. Refer